So the package that I'm going to use to show the little notification is this package that you're looking at here. It's called Angular Notifier and you can search it on NPM. You should be able to find it. You can see that it has different notification uh, with different colors, indicate different type of information to the user. And I have implemented this before in some of my other courses or tutorial. And like I said, it's really overkill for this application, but it's a nice feature to have and then I just see it in action. And I'm not going to use all these colorful ones. I'm pretty much going to use just this this one like the black one the default and we're gonna keep the messages very short so that they don't get too long into the screen because i don't want them to be long i want them to be like very small so you can go to this documentation you can see how to use it if i scroll down you can see that you put it in your uh, ng module as uh, you know the notifier module you import that inside of your ng module the module you want to use it in and then you pass in some configuration. You can see that you call with config. You pass in an object, which is going to be some configuration. And you need to put this notifier container inside of your uh, main container. And uh, what else? Uh, I think we have to import some style as well. So you're going to do this in your uh, main style file to import some of the style that this needs to, to work. And then you can inject it in your component, like my awesome component, this example they're showing you. And then you, you can call it like this. And when you need to call the actual function, that's actually show the notification you call the notifier and then you call notify you give it a type of success that's going to determine the colors and everything and then you pass in the message that you want to pass so it's very very simple to use and that's what we're going to be using and of course you can scroll down you can see a simple configuration so that's a configuration for uh, position um, distance gap all this stuff so I have a configuration that's predefined that I'm going to be using and I'm going to show you that in a minute. And what we're going to do is instead of using this the way that you see that they're showing us here, we're going to do something else that is a little bit more uh, efficient. So instead of injecting it like this in our component and then having to um, you know, pass it in our module like this, which is going to be quite some lines of code, we're going to actually create a module. So the same way that we see that we have this notify module, right? We can create our custom module and then just put it in every module that we need to use. And I'm going to show you how this is going to happen. So let's go back to the code, right? So um, just to illustrate this a little bit more, I'm going to close all this for now. And let's go to the app module. So the app module is the only module that we have in the application. And you can think of the module as a, like a space for the app, right? So this module, we can have multiple different modules, by the way. So this module, it has all of this information that it has access to, or they, they are aware of each other. So whenever you want to use, let's say, a form in any of these files or whatever, then you bring in the forms module. Like you let the context of the application know that you need this module or you need this code or you need whatever Angular is doing in the back end for forms to be able to use the form. The same goes for HTTP client module, uh, browser animation module, and uh, browser module. All this you need to bring in so that your application can work, uh, the UI can work, like the UI needs this browser module. So the same way we have these browser modules and HTTP client modules and forms module, you can actually create your own module. So I'm going to take this, um, this, um, you know, this library and then I'm going to turn it into a module and then all we have to do is to just bring it in here just like we do like this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this file right copy it and I'm gonna paste it in so we're gonna go inside the main app paste it in and I'm gonna rename it and I'm gonna call it the notification notification uh, module remove the copy that ts right so this is going to be the module that we're going to be using so i'm going to delete all of these because i'm not going to use them uh, we're going to use the ng module from angular and we don't need the declaration so you can see this declaration right here which is an array we can get rid of that and we need the import we don't need the providers so i'm going to remove that and we need the export so i'm going to say export and this is also an array okay so now we're getting a bunch of errors because uh we're not really doing anything yet so gonna put this on the new line and remove this for now and we also have to rename this so we're gonna say notification module okay so that's gonna be our module we have to uh, stick with the naming convention so that's whatever the name is and then module at the end so this is the notification module and i'm gonna go on top of the class and i'm gonna define my uh, configuration i'm just gonna go ahead and paste it and then we're gonna talk about it a little bit so this is really, uh, let's go ahead and import this. 
well we're not going to be able to import this because we didn't install the the, the library so let's go in and we didn't even do the most important thing so let's copy this and let's go back to my terminal I'm gonna stop this yes paste this and then after that we want to say ng serve so after we install this we're just gonna run the app so i'm gonna minimize this or just bring the uh, code back up so I'm going to give this a few seconds and see if I can up. Oh, there we go. So I can import this now. So make sure it comes from the Angular notifier, right? So this is the options or the custom notification options or the configuration, right? So we're going to need this configuration so that we can define how we want the notifications in the in the UI. So I want mine to be uh, horizontally. They're going to be on the left and then I want them to be at the bottom 12. Uh, I don't know what this unit is in. But that's a distance from the from the screen on the left. That's a distance from the top, I believe. And we're gonna use the material theme and hold a wide five millisecond. And you can see all these things that I'm um, you know putting in here. This animation again, you need to have this browser animation module for uh, this thing to work because it's using this browser animation module. And I'm just passing in some values here just to make it a little smooth. But the most important ones are uh, this behavior and the position so the position is pretty important you have to set where you want this thing to be and then all we have to do in our import is to just call the notification module so module so that's supposed to come from the uh, same package and then we're going to pass in the configuration so we're going to say with config and then pass in our custom configuration so i'm going to say custom configuration so we pass in our custom configuration we plug it in here as our import and then we're just gonna import the notify module. So now we're gonna copy this and then uh, export it here, not import, export. So we're pretty much just putting this in a file is uh, what I'm gonna call this. And then we're gonna export it by that name, which is the notification module, which is, this is the same thing we're doing here. We say for our import, we want to do all this work with this configuration and then export it.